You know, all of McCutcheon's accounts were overdrawn, and then suddenly two weeks ago, 9,500 appears in his savings. Two weeks ago? Yeah, on the, uh, the 7th. It was a deposit made in Maya Santori's account on the 7th for the same amount. What about Chloe Whitman? 9,500 deposited on the 7th. Which means they were all receiving money from the same source. And spending it in the same place. Both Maya Santori and Chloe Whitman had charges on their credit card for a place called KCBC, both of them on the 9th and the 16th. Both of them, small amounts, less than 20 bucks. Same thing with McCutcheon. The restaurant where they met? All right, call up the bank. Let's see if they can help us track who made those deposits. And I'd like to contact the credit card company to find out what this KCBC is. On it. Don't think that this means that you won the bet. All we know is that they are connected. We still don't know how. I missed you too. Hey, bad news. According to the banks, our victim's deposits were made in cash. There's no way to trace the payments. And since the deposits were less than $10,000, there was no report made to the IRS. Which means that our victims were most likely involved in something illegal. Just so you know, I got that from shot to death. So? So, what illegal activity involves vending machines, an artist, and a high school teacher? I know, even the stuff I'm making up in my head doesn't make sense. I talked to the credit card companies. KCBC bills to an internet card processing service. There's no address on file. We can't even track it down? I didn't say that. There's no address on file. But they do register the ISP of every swipe card transaction that goes through. So I had tech track it down. Whoever ran those charges did it from this address. I got this. Castle, road trip. Uh, think. You sure this is the place? 